Norwegian athlete Gustav Eden rose to fame in Taiwan a few years ago after winning the Ironman 70.3 World Championship in 2019 while wearing a cap issued by a temple in Zhanghua. After attracting a flurry of attention online, the athlete visited the temple and was made honorary citizen of Zhanghua County. He has now made another visit to Taiwan to explore the country, compete in a triathlon and show the world the wonders of Taiwan. Our very own Stephanie Yang has the details. Hello, ni hao. Ni hao. <laughs> it's so, so cool to be back here in, uh, in Taiwan. Greeting the Taiwanese media and fans warmly, this is Gustav Eden, the 2022 Ironman World Champion and a two-time winner of the Ironman 70.3 World Championship. In 2019, he became famous in Taiwan after winning the Ironman 70.3 World Championship in Nice, France, wearing a hat with the name of a Taiwanese temple in Zhanghua. Eden had found the hat in Tokyo and believed that it would bring him luck. Uh, it's been an amazing few years ever since I found the hat and it's truly changed my life. Special feeling when I take it on and it's also really special to see others wearing it because it makes me aware that uh, I actually have an influence on other people so it made me realize that I have to to do good, not only do like a good performance, but uh, behave in a way that uh, is respected by others. So when I put on the hat, I am actually really aware that uh, I'm representing not only myself and Norway, but also representing Taiwan. Eden says he's happy to see other people wearing the hat and that when he wears it, he not only represents Norway, but also Taiwan. <laughs> Many fans in Taiwan were excited to meet Eden. Some even biked all the way from Taipei to Zhanghua to get their own hat just like his. We had a group of five friends. We went to from Taipei, cycling all the way to Zhanghua to get this hat. We did it all one day, so about 230 kilometers. Uh, here to see the, the two world champions just because I, uh, I do triathlon, we all do triathlon. And... Um, yeah, we really enjoy, you know, that they come to Taiwan. And I was, I was with them in, in Utah, and uh, because they are so fast, so I couldn't get an autogram from them and take a picture with them. That's why I came today. Yeah, I have a hat from from Utah, where they were racing, and I hope I. <laughs> no, no, no. I like this hat, so I hope they're going to sign it. I'm just uh, hoping that I can steal some of their speed from them. And maybe get some of their good luck and fortune. And maybe get some uh, uh, training tips. Yeah. And then tell them about how awesome Taiwan is. And, and I hope that they can come back more often and train here. Because Taiwan really is a perfect triathlon training country. After his solo visit in 2019, this time Eden brought with him another triathlon champion to Taiwan, Christian Blumenfeld. Blumenfeld is a Norwegian triathlete and Olympic and world champion gold medalist. During their stay, they tried local delicacies, including stinky tofu and oyster omelets. I think there's actually nothing we haven't tried. I feel, <laughs> I feel we've been going through everything, as you can see on the pictures. Uh, yeah. The highlight might be the stinky tofu. Stinky tofu, chow tofu. Because now I know that I can eat everything. Uh, Taiwan has become like my second country <laughs> and I'm... Uh, amazed every time I see some news from Taiwan and it's so cool to be back here and uh, last time I was here I was actually made honorary citizen of Shanghua County and it's uh, yeah it's unbelievable how far sports can take you I never dreamed of uh, yeah this when I started triathlon career it was mostly because I love training but uh, to uh, experience the culture here in Taiwan it's been yeah unbelievable so uh, yeah, thank you so much to all the Taiwanese people. As an honorary citizen of Zhanghua County, Eden traveled to Taiwan to explore more of the country and let more people know about its beauty. FTV reporter Stephanie Yang and Li Jianwei in Taipei.